So, so the question is, how do I talk to my doctor about getting a second opinion? So first of all, it's the mindset. And again, this is my philosophy, but when I see somebody in clinic, I'm not there to tell them what to do. In fact, my view is I work for you. I'm your guide in this. My job is to give you as much information as I can so that you can make the best decisions for you going forward. While I can bring a lot of expertise to the table about tumors and treatments and options, I can't pretend to tell you what your goals, your values, your decision making is based on the decades of life that you've had to this point. So it has to be a partnership. And so number one, this is about you. It's not about the physician or the institution. It's about the best thing for you. And in the same way that you wouldn't buy a house without looking at any other houses and getting a pricing analysis or, or whatever, um, if it's in your heart to get a second opinion, and not everybody wants to, but if it's in your heart to get a second opinion, that shouldn't be a problem for your treatment team. They shouldn't have an ego that, oh no, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And so it should be less about your guilt and it should be more about what's the best way to do it and do I have the time right now to make something like this happen? There are definitely situations, especially if somebody is having worsening symptoms over a short period of time, where I'll tell them, look, I support getting a second opinion. I think it's important, but you're changing too quickly, and we can't afford another week and a half to two weeks of time. I think we're going to lose too much ground if we do that.